this is here to keep the microphone warm. <laughs> okay. Just so, sure. um, okay, so loud as we can. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh. It's your turn, I believe. Wait, 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 wait. I did it last week. No, no. <laughs> Technically, you did. Yeah. But still, I'm going to go with, um, I said this was, that this was the as yet undecided podcast. Yeah. And then you said you corrected me. Which oh. is fine. Which is fine. I don't mind doing it. Okay, you do it, please. Okay. This is the As Yet Undecided Podcast with your convicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. Um, firstly, um, we just watched the Little Dicky Save That Money music video. The most amazing thing about <laughs> that was basically everything about it was done on the kindest of strangers. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty so, much. And um, Little Dicky is one of those rap artists that are quite... Um, intellectual in the way that he raps. Subversant? Yeah. Meta? Yeah, very much so. Um, and, and he usually brings up topics that no one wants to bring up, but he rhymes it. Mm. So that, that's why a lot of the rap community actually love Little Dicky. Um, I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> It was a, yeah, well, one of the best lines that I heard from him is that, um, I think it goes, um, I got that man squeeze, I got it flummoxed. Mick, chickpeas and olive oil called hummus. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Um, well, we have to give congratulations to one particular person yes. today. And then it's Sophie for um, finishing her exams. Four exams mm. in two weeks. I'm so glad it's over. Yes. No, actually, one week. I had my first exam exactly one seven days before. Yeah. And I just had my last exam today. Yeah. Four exams in seven days. Yes. Now you can do the university challenge. Yeah. <laughs> if, I get, if I'm selected, that is. No, if I'm selected. Yeah. I wish to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, How yeah. was your week, Mike? I was all right. Um, yeah, kind of... Bad parts here and there, and like we talked about that at the start. Yes. Um, but You've heard my week. Yeah, and especially like like if something ruins me. Yeah. That's my entire day gone. Yeah. Um. I've done that to Mike a few times. I've asked <laughs> him to go to the gym for once, and he's like, "Sophie, you ruined my day that day." <laughs> so, if Mike's having a ruined day, it's probably because of me. <laughs> no, well, I wouldn't go that far. It's probably due to something else. Yeah. But but, but nevertheless, um, yeah, it's been. Yeah, it's been quite a weird week. Yeah, but, you know, geese with joy, Seth. We just had E3. Yeah, yeah, well, well, well just for people that don't know, um, E3 is the Electronic Entertainment Expo that is currently in LA. Well, if you've been living under the rock. Oh, yeah, but, but or, or if you're not into gaming. Oh, true. Yeah. Um, do you, but surely even non-gamers have heard some flutterings from E3. Well, but, but, but you don't know, because, you know, people just go into mainstream media and just get all the news from there. Oh, true. Yeah, but so, yeah, so you have to say where it is. It is um, at, it's always at the Anaheim Convention Centre. Oh, yeah? Um, that's where a lot of the conferences are usually are in that complex. Oh, yes? So, like, like VidCon's there mm. um, and a myriad of other things. Um, yeah, a lot's happened. A lot's happened. Yeah. So, one of the things about E3 is that there's always a heaps and heaps of leaks. So, whatever news happens at E3, there's usually very little surprises. So, for you, Mike, what's the best part about E3 this year? The worst part? Oh. And any surprises for you? Well, 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 the worst part has to be that YouTuber on, um, on the Need for Speed video. Luckily, so that means that PewDiePie did not no, no, cause he, this no, he controversy did not. for once. He, he did not. Um, <laughs> okay. okay, Wall Street Journal, get out he, of here. He, 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 he completely stonewalled. How? He, 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 like, he... He smashed into a wall within the game, or...? No, 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 no. I was meaning that, no, like, he, he had a speaking role. Yes. And he just... Stuttered. Yeah. Stuttered. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, oh, you poor thing. So that will be that will be the cringe complication next yeah. year. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, and and don't worry, I'm pretty sure there's there has been complications already. Yes. Um, couple of a couple of good things that came out. Um, well, technically, the Xbox One X. Yeah. 
Um, and if you actually abbreviate it, it is called the Xbox, which I think is quite hilarious. <laughs> um, um, in regards to the games concept, mm. um, I do like how they're remaking Shadow of the Colossus, um, which is a really good game from Team Ico. Yeah. Because um, they did release The Last Guardian last year to mm. some sort of probably the lowest review of their games. Oh. Which is a shame because Team Ico is a fantastic um developer yeah um well I, I did enjoy the concept of anthem yes that's vr isn't it no 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 it's not vr anthem what's that about i'm trying to um, remember basically um you can tell i'm not such a big geek as mike yeah i know but it's just like iron man yeah meets lost planet i'm gonna say um because there's like basically a whole bunch of whole bunch of monsters in there, and you've got to kill them, and you're wearing like a a symbio suit. So was yeah, there, an exoskeleton. Wasn't there a game recently developed that's similar to that concept? Um, basically, it was like Bloodborne but modern. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. We, well, Sophie's talking about Destiny here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's very similar. Similar. Um. But it's a genre, isn't it? Sci-fi, you're in the biosuit and killing monsters. That's yeah. the genre now. Yeah. So if there's copying ideas from each other, it's because, well... Yeah. There's a lot to explore. Yes. Um, um, but I, but if you talk about all of the conferences, if you talk about, you know, Bethesda was very lackluster. Yeah. Um, well, so they just released Prey, so it's like... Yeah, yeah, but they like, didn't have much to talk about, do they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah um, but, you know, you, you would think you would get some instances... Um, I did like with Bethesda that it's coming to uh, sorry, Skyrim is coming to the Switch. Nice. And you could um, put your amiibo in. So really, like y- your character. Yeah. <laughs> your amiibo can be put yeah. ported into Skyrim, um, which I thought that was actually quite nice. When when do you think the Nintendo Switch will become a good investment, so to speak? Well, that's a good question. Because um, this year we do have a whole heap of third-party game developers going into the Switch. So you have Bethesda, you have Ubisoft. Yeah. And um, well, uh, well, you, well, the best part the, the, that, I, that I have to talk about here is that you know um, how much is the Xbox One X going to cost? Mm. And and my prediction is, and, and you hear it here first when when it releases in November. Yeah. It'll be eleven hundred. Okay. But on Boxing Day, it'll decrease to a thousand. That's not much of a decrease. I know, but like, because you're basically because Boxing Day in New Zealand is the biggest shopping day of the year. Is the those three days? Think of Black Friday, but slightly smaller. Yeah, exactly. Because like we have like Black Black Mondays and Cyber and Cyber Mondays. Yeah. But it's not as big. I mean, honestly, Boxing Day is the day to get the discounts. Yes. Unfortunately, it's also the day where the hordes come out. Well, that <laughs> um, because like I, I remember. Um, well, my dad lost his job in 21st December 2000. Right. Right? And I was 14 at the time. Yeah. So it was pretty, uh, merry, it was a very somber Christmas, let's say. Yeah. Um, and then we went down, we went down to the local warehouse. Yeah. Which back then was 45 minutes drive away. And, like, we went there and the biggest line, I'm not kidding, was the returns line. Oh, really? Yeah. Crap, Christmas. No, like, like broken presents, presents that they don't want, and even then trade me wasn't a big thing back then. Oh, yes. Um, I've heard that Boxing Day is one of the busiest days for trade me. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's anywhere in general. I've worked a few Boxing Days when I was working at Kmart. Oh, yes. And, oh, my, oh. You were just flat out. Yeah. That's why you should always put a lot of thought into a present. Yeah. I've never given a present that people wanted to return just yet. Because I remember going from like 9 to 6. Yeah. And like I used to go nuts from 11 to 5. Yeah. That whole time I just wouldn't have a break. It's like you don't like this. You don't like this. Oh my god. This is a good present. Why didn't you like it? No, no, no. no, no, no. It's, more, <laughs> it's more like people come in. Yeah. They want something. Yeah. They want something big. Like a trampoline or a bike. Oh yeah. I had to go back. Get them to do the paperwork. 
put it into their car, by the time I get back, there's another customer waiting for me. <laughs> It'll just be a vicious rotation. Just did. Yeah. So did you get overpay that stay? Oh no, 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 because it's all um, salary based. So. Oh my god. So it was just like nightmare. Ah, oh, so, so sometimes you just have to appreciate the busyness. Yeah. Because like time goes fast so so quick. Oh yeah. Um, and like the 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 problem that when I was working there, um, I was the only one capable of. Giving, giving two things about a customer. Yeah. Um, and two, <laughs> being the strength person that I am. Yeah. So I was, I was able to lift the barbecues by myself. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike is a big guy. <laughs> yeah, so like, like for instance... He's like Moldy from Moana. No, well, we wouldn't go that far. You know, you can't compare me to The Rock. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> but still... Um, because yeah, it's usually with hooded barbecues. Yes. They come in two boxes. You've got the, you've got the base. Yes. And then you have the out shell. Right. So basically, in two boxes. Um, one's about forty kilos. The other one's thirty kilos, and they're pretty weak. Mm. I, I wouldn't expect uh, a little a Lee or Sophie to carry that. No. So they would just grab me and says, "Oh, you you can just do it by yourself." Hey, might go, "Yep, sweet." Sweet strength training. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah things like that and I had I had full cooperation of some staff nice and, and it was just like oh yeah can you can you help me here can you help me here so I was like yeah it's just like there's a customer coming around can you be at the back door be great Shall so, we go- <laughs> things like that that's um, pretty cool yeah should we go back to E3 yeah we, yeah, we should <laughs> yeah, yeah we should um, no honestly this is a really cool story yeah um, but we should go back on topic yeah, well, yeah exactly um, <laughs> PlayStation even though they had their, even though they had their games, that's Sony. Yeah, it's Sony, and it felt a little bit lackluster. Because, mm. like, because they they just focused, they they put more into their VR title than I would have expect. So, what's it, their VR title? Oh, because they had a myriad of first party VR titles. Right. But, um, oh, embracing VR at the moment is very touchy. Yeah. Um, Ubisoft, um, I think their big thing, they tried to do it on one Assassin's Creed, which I do like the eagle eye. Yeah. I do like that concept. And the whole concept behind Detroit. That's back to Sony. (laughs) Oh my goodness. I'm I'm so disappointed they don't have a release date for Detroit. I've been waiting for that for ages now. Um, what did you say it was? Basically Watch Dogs with multiple scenarios? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm a huge fan of Watch Dogs, so it's like, give me the game, yeah. as you're saying about Detroit. Yeah, I, I did like the concept. Yeah. Um, but the bad part is, is that there is no schedule. Yeah, I'm like, where's the stam schedule? Yeah. Are we waiting for 2018? Do you think? Well, exactly. It's yeah. like, it's like, but by all means, like you know, going back to Sony, Kingdom Hearts three, no schedule. And, and like, we haven't, we didn't hear anything about Final Fantasy seven remake. Mm-hmm didn't hear anything about um, Shimu 3. Yeah. Um, Nintendo instance, we didn't hear about um, Brawl. Aww. Um, it's it, just full uncertainty. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just full of uncertainty. So I'm just like... I mean, life is already full of uncertainties. Must have games be as well? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I think the person who won E3 the most yeah? was Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump won E3. How? He, he just added to the uncertainty of everything. I know, yeah. right? So, 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 in saying that, what did you watch from E3, Sophie? Just the Ub- just half of Ubisoft. Oh. Yeah. So, um, didn't hear much about Assassin's Creed from Ubisoft because, well, Xbox already announced it for them. Yeah, exactly. So they didn't have much to talk about, but I did watch the gameplay at the end. Yeah. I've only played Assassin's Creed 3, and I'm probably going to get Syndicate, the Steam sale. But it looks interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm not too sure whether I should play it more like Watch Dogs or, Assass- or like a proper Assassin's Creed game. I've also wa- I've also waited for Detroit as well. Yeah. Yeah. That was and, interesting. And um, did you hear what's going on with Cyberpunk 2077 at the moment? No. Um, hackers got a, got a lot of their pre-builds. 
for Cyberpunk. Yeah. What's who's developing that game? Uh, Project Red. CD Project Red, who does um, The Witcher. All oh, right. Um, and hackers gone to there, and they want to, they bright the doing it as hostage. Losers. Pretty much. Assholes. I mean, why would you do that? Because like you, you know, you know, it, it happened with CD Project Red. Happened with Netflix with Orange is the New Black. Yeah, holding it hostage. Yeah. Like they actually took it out of the servers and. Yeah. What? <laughs> why? Because they want to get their moolah, G. Dollar dollar bills, y'all get their bling bling. Vodka, vodka, booty booty. Yeah, booty booty. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, so best part for me was Assassin's Creed Oranges. <laughs> Oranges. Assassin. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Oranges. This po- this podcast is now brought to you by Assassin's Creed Oranges. Yeah, you never know what's coming out of that grove. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Assassin's Creed Origins yes. and Detroit Become Human. Worst part? Lack of certainty. And strangest part? Okay. Here's an interesting question for you. Um, Assassin's Creed Origins, they're going to release this... Re- what? How much is, the, is there... Okay. I probably already gave you the clue. Okay. There's going to be a game package released this year that's going to cost Australian 1250 Fifty dollars. In other words, you get about the same as a new iPhone when it's just released. Yes. So, which now, game is it for? Now, which game is it for, Mike? You have to answer that first. Can I actually get a clue here? I already gave you a clue. I already said the answer. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. No, 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 no. What, what, what does this entail? You get the. Um, Highest edition of the game. Yes. You get a statue. Yes. Three limited edition um, lithographs. Okay. And a few other th- and a few other things. Now, now, now th- this brings me back to um, the the first premium edition that I wanted. Yeah. Um, and I and I probably still want was um, I think it was Modern Warfare Two. Oh yeah. What did that? What's that? Does that entail? It had um. Oh, what are they called? Um, Models? No, no, it had goggles. Goggles. Like infrared goggles? Oh, really? Yeah. Actual infrared goggles? Yeah. How much was it? It was 300. Okay. <laughs> not 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> not not 1,200. Oh, uh, yeah. But um, here's another thing, though. There was this huge debate when it was announced of whether it's actually a waste of money or not. You probably don't want to actually... Well, the game itself is probably is a waste of money because you probably don't need such a high-end edition. Yes. However, everything else might not be. Yes. So the models and lithographs might actually become a good investment. Yes. So what do you think, Mike? Is it, is the 1200 a waste of money or a good investment? No, well, because remember, only 999 of these will be uh, made. Yes. And um, there's... The lithographs are going. Lithographs and the statues are going to be labelled, so you, you can tell it's like, oh, this is number one hundred of the series. Yes. Yeah. Um. It, well, I understand why they're doing this. Yeah. Because the, like, like the 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 collectible market is such a huge market. I know. Um, I mean, I've heard they can hack up buy statues that go up to eight hundred dollars. Yeah. So so it's well, I'm not going to buy it. No. But it's uh, but if someone else wants to buy it, all power to them. True. But the more important thing that I want yeah. from uh, Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed yeah. is a good game. That's what I want too as well. I, um, I do paper crafts so I can make my own statues, for goodness sakes. But yeah, um, I'm not part of that niche market. Yeah. Look, like, yeah. It's like if, if it's a really good game yeah. and then you have really good um, game packages for it. Yeah. Then all great. If you're going to be like DS X Mankind Divided, yeah, and how that was an absolute disaster of a game, and like and even to a lesser extent the Hitman series, yeah, the current Hitman, even that was a disaster. Oh no! So like, you know, even like they're trying to sell the Hitman series now. Yeah. So, what's the most expensive game package possible? It was four million dollars, US. Now, now I I, I know where you're going to go with this. Yeah. Because I I've heard of DLC like like, like in game property 
Yes. That has been sold for quite a lot. Yeah. I think it was I think it was a nightclub. Night's club? A, a nightclub within a video game when it had in game currency. Yeah. We actually got a cut of the bar's takings. Oh really? Yeah. Which game was that? I forgot what it is, but if you look up the top ten most expensive in game purchases. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this particular package was for US one million dollars and none has ever been sold. What was it? Guess. A house? No, no, no. Guess the game first, no, then guess the package. Sims? No. No, oh, damn. Don't get, please do not give EA any more ideas. Oh, uh, no, trust me. They or, do have, they, do they, or do they need the ideas? No, no, they have all the ideas in the world. Okay. So, tell me. Saints Row 4. Okay. Yeah. What was it? A uh, trip to Dubai with first class tickets. Yes. You can say a few nights there, the Burj Khalifa. Was it? No, it wasn't the Burj Khalifa. It's the one with the boat. The, the, the yeah, the, that, yeah. The, the hotel that looks like a boat. I forgot the name. I think it's called the Sail. No, it's not called the Sail. It's the it's the hotel that looks like a boat. Okay. In Dubai, you get you guys get it. I yeah. forgot the name already. I'll do some of his corrections about it next week. Yeah. Um, you also get to stay. You also get to fly to DC. Yes. Have spend a few nights. A few nights there. You get. Uh, military training for one day, you get a gun, you get a supercar, <laughs> for probably a few models and figurines, probably a few lithographs, and of course you get the best edition of the game. Okay. Yeah. Now, huh. and, and speaking speaking of flights, yeah. Um, there's currently a deal going on for all New Zealand customers. Yeah. So for eight percent off Emirates flights. Eight percent. Eight percent. That's pathetic. Hey, it's better than zero percent. <laughs> True. Oh, it's better than negative percent. No, exactly. So I'm just like, yeah, I, I might as well put that out there. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, about Assassin's Creed Origins, that collector's edition being a waste of money or not. It also really depends on whether Assassin's Creed produ pro continues producing good games. Yes. Yeah. And especially what happens with, um, oh, Vivendi? Yeah, Vivendi. Yeah? Wanting to buy Ubisoft. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Ubisoft is like, nope. Yeah. Because currently at the moment, Vivendi has, was that 25%? Yeah. They, they, do have a, they do have a little bit of percentage. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. Ubisoft needs to do really well so they can fight off a Vivendi takeover. But, but in saying that, Ubisoft has had a really good year so far. Yeah. Um, um, how much? How was Watch Dogs for them? Not that great, um, but what? like you had, uh, guess a Ghost Recon. Oh yeah. Um, for Honor. Yeah, Watch Dogs Two was a flop ish. Flop ish, because you had those two games and one other. Forgot what it's called, but it's the most profitable three games so far in twenty seventeen. Oh, congratulations to them! Yeah, exactly. And it was just like, you know, just if anything, just make the game mechanics work. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Any surprises from E3 for no, you? Not really. As I said, everything's leaked. Not really. I, I, well, I'm just I'm just glad that we have um, an actual date for the Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually surprised at how small it was. It's the small. <laughs> it's the smallest Xbox. Smaller than your computer. Well, well, it's the smallest Xbox made. Yeah. But it has the most grunt. Oh, okay. Which I think is actually quite clever. Well, that's Small's Law for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just can't wait to actually see it in action. Yeah. Am I going to see it in action? Probably not. That's okay. Too expensive for you. Yeah, spent a thousand bucks. Yeah, we can buy an Assassin's Creed game with that. <laughs> How about, um, okay, how about um, Beyond Good and Evil 2? I did like that trailer. Um, yeah? Because, like, I didn't play Beyond Good and Evil 1. I actually have that game, actually. So I, I didn't really bother with it. No. You played it, but you didn't No, it. I didn't. I didn't even play it. You didn't even play it. I have a copy of it. Yeah. So if you want, you can... Oh, of course. Thank you, Sophie. Yeah. So... But the hostess with the mostess. <laughs> Thank you. But, well, so speaking of misleading sp games. Well, no, speaking of E3, how do you leak information anyway? 
Just as James came, yeah, surprise. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so, what are the steps of leaking, you know, information of any sorts? Now, when you're leaking information, you, you, you've got to worry about a few things. Yeah. Privacy. Yeah. And then and anonymity. Right. So, so you, you need huge privacy, right? So, you need to um, make sure that you have you can do it when, when no one sees you. And do you need to make sure that no one actually finds out that, you, that you're the leaker? Yes. Okay. Yes. And and no misleading evidence to find out that it is you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's probably the, most, the, the three most important things. Right. So, you, do you need good hacking skills or can you just probably grab some paper, I suppose? Just, just do that. Just do that USB. Yeah. Do, do that USB. Do, do that. Do that 4K camera. How about trust? Like, do you, do you need to be really trusted within a community or company to be to leak? Oh. No, well, 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 I suppose the more trusted you are, the juicier the information you can get. Yeah, but uh, like, it'll be all, it'll be up to the discretion of the company. Um, like for instance, I've asked for uh, company information before. Yeah. To to try and understand the certain perspective. Oh yeah. Of how they want to do things. And then they never gave it to me. Oh, yeah? Because they were afraid that I was going to use it for somebody else. Oh. But I was actually, because like, and I, and I told them, I was like, I don't mind signing a um, an NDA. Yeah, non-disclo- non-disclosure. Yeah. But hey, they still didn't give it to me. Oh, yeah? How about, how about the FBI, though? <laughs> well, well, we, 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 all know, we all know the stories, don't we? Mm-hmm. Or the NSA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... so, so gain, the much, gain as much trust as you can bear, and <laughs> leak. Yeah, exactly. And was, I have to give credit where credit's due. The, you know, the way that those leakers... Mm? You, you, you know, your... Oh, what's his name? Chelsea Manning? Oh, Chelsea Manning and the other guy. Edward Snowden? Yeah, Edward Snowden. And, and, like, the amount of trust that they had... Yeah? ...would have been immense. Yeah. And, and you know, from from what I know, they did it for no financial or political gain. They can't! They do it... They, they do it purely, purely on a moral basis. Mm. They sacrificed quite a bit. Yes. Uh, so, oh wow! And within a company, like, is it best for you to ex- to have access to the servers, like, be part of the IT to leak? <sighs> well, or do you, that, 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 that's preferred. Preferred. That's preferred. Because, like, if you don't have the IT skills, then you're pretty much. So what if? Or how about being cleaner? Like, if you're the cleaner, they tend to ignore you. Well, well, decades. And you, and decades you, ago, sure. Yeah. But like, if you had a cleaner hacker. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> a cleaner a, hacker, yeah. Yeah, a cleaner that has IT skills. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, you could do some vigilante work as a cleaner because people tend to ignore you. Yeah. Yeah, did, did you know that? Like, people just ignore cleaners because they just seem like, oh, she's just, she's just another employee. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, like I, 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 w- I, I technically wouldn't yeah, mind true. being a cleaner. A cleaner hacker. At, at, at some sort of institution. Yeah. You, you know, like like at a university or at, or at Parliament. Yeah. That'd be great. Cleaners see all the dirt. They know all yeah. the secrets. Uh, it's like, for instance, when the whole um, Judith Collins, Oravita stuff start coming out. Yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't mind having a conversation with with her PA. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a, having a bit of a wine and a little bit of a chat. But PAs are too close. I know, but it's just PBA, like... PAs are notice. Cleaners are not. Yeah, I, I, I know, but it's just like, I would just like to be, be like a fly on the wall. Yeah, cleaners. About, on those sort of conversations, I'm like... Yeah. Oh. oh I, I wouldn't leak anything. Because, like, they'll they'll let you sign NDA so the cows come home. But, <laughs> but, but, but like, in your mind, you're just thinking, like... Oh, oh man. man. The stuff that I know. It will bring down this country. Oh, maybe not that. <laughs> maybe not that. Um, yeah. <laughs> that would be great, though. So, this is how you hack or leak. Yeah. You become a cleaner with IT skills. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, 
<laughs> oh, great. Talking about how to commit the perfect crime, oh. ooh, do you think I can do it? Thing is, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge crime fan, so I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts, watch lots of documentaries. Daddy, daddy, da. Um, do you think... No, 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 no. I have to talk about my my honest opinion first. Yeah? No, you couldn't. Why not? You have one, one thing wrong with you. My hair. Your conscience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is your only slipper. Yeah. Is your conscience. It's like, I can't go through with this. Yeah, exactly. It was like, like if you, even if you did it, you just say, lock me up. <laughs> lock me up. I did something wrong. I've been a very bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> you have to completely ignore that. So, if I became a psychopath. I, I wouldn't say to that extent. But like, like. Oh, if I really hated that person, like that person killed my family. Uh, it's like, for instance, we're like, we've had this conversation outside of the podcast. Yeah. How bad did you feel when you shoplifted? Pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> For me, like, like I shop, I I shop about six weeks ago, completely by accident. Yeah. And I was just like, oops. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was more oops. And I'm like, if I went there and and actually paid for the thing, yeah. I was like, get out of here. Oh, true. What do you want to build? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> so if I wanted to kill someone I really really hate because they've done something really no 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 wait 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 I'm pretty sure my conscience won't matter if that guy was if the person I killed was a real asshole <sighs> okay you you had to you had to lay low for a while yeah the, 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 you remember the old saying um, friends are close. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Be close to your enemies so they wouldn't suspect when you kill them. Yeah. Befriend your enemy. Yeah, then exactly. Then kill your enemy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, like, uh, well, especially when you're in prison. Yeah. Um, I think, I think you might have to buy a way out. Yeah. Which is a new game it's a co-op prison break game oh yeah <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool that's kit do you think i can commit the perfect crime against an asshole no why not conscience my conscience was still getting in the way yeah oh really yeah oh do you really think i have such a strong conscience i can't do anything wrong sophie yeah sophie yeah we're talking about you here really yeah okay uh all right I'll miss it. I probably can't do it. Yeah. How about you, though? Do you think you could commit the perfect crime? <sighs> if I lost, like, 70 kilos? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's your weight loss plan? You can be weight lost goal? Oh, like, 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 I, I, like, I always said if I, if I stick around that 100 mark, I'll be happy. Yeah? How much are you? 150 odd. Wow. But the like the lowest I've got is 111 ever. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, 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 but like look, I've told everyone else, it's like the stuff I used to do to get to that weight was stupid. Like such as 10 k's running a day, going to the gym twice, stuff like that. I'm just like, oh. I think you lose about 30 kilos and still be happy. Yeah, but it's like, what's the point? Not true. Yeah, the, 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 that's the whole thing. It's like. Like, people say that, you know, lose weight and you'll get a hot girlfriend. Like, are we really that shallow as a society? <laughs> are we really that shallow? Yeah, we are. I'm just like, oh. I mean, welcome, we... to, the, welcome to the life of the anthropologist. Oof. I think that, hey, Mike, that's the new name for a podcast. <laughs> welcome to the life of the anthropologist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, what? So, Mike, are we outsiders? No, 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 non-conformist. Non-conformist. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, like we can actually see, we can actually see the good and bad of society, and we ignore the, and we decide not to do the bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad parts like buying a house and having, and paying child support. Yeah. Which is actually going to be really funny because of uh, what's going on next week. What? Because. Um, yeah. Do you I'll... have a kid? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Mike no. has Mike is not yet a father. Congratulations. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shall we end that here? Yes, I'm going to go have some ice cream. Yay! Yay! Put some hair in your head. <laughs> this podcast is, is, is lastly brought to you by Bovenpick. Yeah. Bovenpick, it put hair on your head. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been the... The Bovenpick has undecided podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> As the undecided podcast. Actually, I have some news for you. We do have Snapchat. Thing is, we're broke, so it's friends only. Yeah. Please friend us in order to get us uh, Snapchats, and we'll be putting some podcast ideas up, up on there. Now, can you put the sticker up on the As Yet under, under show notes? Oh, yes. If I... No, the show notes don't support GIF images. Or you can just go SC dot dot and then the Snapchat name. True, but the Snapchat, the but the Snapchat code will be on Facebook though, and yeah. Twitter, and anywhere else that. Actually, I'll put it. Actually, I'll put it on the show. I'll put it on the show logo. Yeah. Yeah. It'll work. Well, if you're not too freaked out by ghosts, yeah. Yeah. Right, you can contact me on the Manus. That's T H E M R N U S. Sometimes he's also on Snapchat as well. Yes, I am on Snapchat. I'm I, not. I, I'm also. On Snapchat as the Manus. Thank you very much. I am not on Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, but that's why you are in control of the Snapchat as yet undecided account. Yeah, because, well, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> You're on holiday now. I'm on holiday now, yeah. Um, you may contact me, Sophie9709, on pretty much all platforms apart from Snapchat because it doesn't exist, and Instagram because. Actually, do you think Russian Sophie has Sophie9709? Has she posted up anything in the last few weeks? I have no idea whether she has Snapchat or not. That's Sophie nice even or no. In fact, do you think she's pissed off with me? I like the fact I took her all her usernames. Like now, okay. Be, be, before we finish, yeah, Russian Sophie. No, 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 because no. because I I have to talk about my name. Yeah. Right. There are four of us. <laughs> right. In New Zealand, there's oh. four of us. Oh no. There are four Michael Canadas living in New Zealand. Oh yeah. And yet, I have the Hotmail and Gmail <laughs> for that name. Oh, they must be pissed off with you. Ah, of course, but I'm just like, I got in first. Yeah. I, I, I got in there at like, like 2000. Oh, yeah? Because you're a geek? Of course. There are, th- there are three other Sophie Zangs in Auckland. Three Sophie Sangs in all kinds. There's three Sophie... If you think having four Michael Carnal Carnalas is bad, imagine having three Sophie Zangs within the same city and to give them a size how much... how many others in the other cities in Auckland so, and New um, Zealand. So, um... To the other three Sophie Zangs... To my doppelgangers and to our doppelgangers... Um, if, if you want to be part of the podcast... Yeah? Um, you know, just replace me for that. For yeah, yeah. 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 Or replace me... Yeah. Uh, especially the one in Rotorua. That's <laughs> fine. You, you, you come up to Auckland and we can do a doppelganger podcast. Yeah. With a different Michael and a different Sophie. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah. It'd be hilarious. And it'd, it'd be called Not Yet Undecided. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good week, guys. See you around, doppelgangers. Doppelgangers. Petty crackers. <laughs>